Hey everybody, SF Logic Ninja here, or you can call me David Earl. I really don't mind. Either way, it's fine. Um, I have a confession to make. I still don't have Logic Pro 8, or Logic Studio as it's called. Um, our school is still in transition, and we're trying to decide if we want to really just jump right into getting Logic 8 on 35 machines. And as you can imagine, that's uh, something we want to think about a little bit. So, But I didn't want to come empty-handed, so today what I did is I made a video of how to use recycle files in Logic 7.2.3. Um, it's pretty cool, and it's not really covered in the, in the books uh, to teach Logic 101 or even the 201 uh, curriculum. So I figured that this is something I do just special for you, and I hope that you guys get a kick out of it. And um, next week, hopefully, I'll be back with the cool Logic 8 stuff. But until then, I hope this tides you over. All right, so a question that a lot of people ask me is how do you use Recycle and Logic together? Well, you can take Recycle files or Rex files, and one of the ways you can use them is you can just grab the file and drag it directly from your finder into the Arrange window. When you do that, you make sure to drag it onto an audio track for this to work correctly. So it says slices may overlap. How should Logic fix this? If you choose crossfade, what it's doing is it's taking all the individual slices from the Rex file and it's going to crossfade them together when they overlap each other from the tempo going really fast and the files having to kind of compensate by overlapping each other. That's how Recycle works. So I'm going to say OK. Oh, wait a minute. But what are some of my other options? Oh, render into a single file, which would create uh, an audio loop that's just a standard audio file, audio loop. Or I can render it into an Apple loop. And that's really cool because you're retaining all the same flexibility of recycle, but in the Apple world. So you could transpose the loop or you could um, take it into Apple loop utility and then recreate the transient lines where it's breaking the thing up. That's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to choose crossfade just to keep it in the arrange window. So I hit OK. And there we go. On my uh, audio track now, I've got the Rex file. So what exactly is this thing? Well, let me zoom in on it a little bit. As we see, it, it doesn't look like an audio file at all. But if I double click, it opens up this little folder. These are nested files within that one region that I just saw. These are all the individual parts of the recycle file. So if I double click in the background, it takes me back out. And if I was to play this in Logic, it sounds just fine. I can go ahead and loop this out then. So that's pretty cool. Um, one thing that offers a little bit more flexibility, the Dr. Rex player in Reason allows you to play the individual slices of a recycle loop with your keys. So I'll go down here to Audio Instrument 1, and I'm going to create the Logic Sampler. I'm going to put in a uh, EXS24, and I'm going to hit the Edit button, and I'm going to say Instrument, Recycle, Convert, Extract MIDI Region, and Make New Instrument. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go find myself a recycle file, I'm going to open it, and what it's going to end up doing, velocity factor, so this is whether the slicers are going to follow volume according to velocity. Hit OK. So it's going to pull in all the different slices and put them on keys. So that way I can play it just like I do in Dr. Rex. To be able to play this instrument, I have to go back to the EXS24 and go to the newly made YouTube and Recycle 172DB1. Now if I hit keys, I can play all the individual parts of the file. But if I want to just play the Rex file all the way through, so once again I can hit it, I can play all the individual parts, or I can just play the MIDI file back. So there's two ways that you can use recycled files in your logic arrangement. Okay, so I just finished rendering that whole thing out, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm also laughing my ass off because I just saw Eddie Van Halen Shreds by the YouTube uh, director Saint Sanders. It's the funniest thing ever. Go watch it now. Anyway, until next time, ciao.